Hello everybody, sorry I haven't filmed in a while, I've been a bit under the weather and I've had, well I've still got a bit of a sore throat and a cold actually, and outside it is blowing an absolute gale. You're going to get so many different sound effects throughout this video, I'm afraid. Um, the pine trees in the back of my garden are going like this, almost doubling over on themselves. The cat is asleep, the dog is asleep, there's nobody here to protect me. Um, so if I look a little bit distracted, it's because I fear for my life and I have to run at any minute. Today's video is all about Valentine's Day stuff. I'm not a great fan of Valentine's Day. Um, Mr. Amod Recommends and I have been together for 11 years now and we've been married for nearly six and I don't think that we have once been out on Valentine's night. I probably would go out on Valentine's night for the novelty factor of it. But I just find it so, so cringy, the whole themed nights and stuff like that. So I'm kind of anti going out on Valentine's. However, I do think that buying yourself or having things bought for you, um, amazing, nice, luxury stuff on Valentine's is perfectly acceptable. In fact, it's acceptable at any time of the year and for any occasion. So what better excuse to buy lovely rose scented things and I don't know, just pretty much love anything, um, oh squirrel, uh, pretty much love anything, where was I? Can't even remember, I'm very distracted today, very sorry. Um, let's get on with the first thing shall we, because I can't remember, I've lost my thread. Jo Malone, red roses bath, bath oil, bath oil. <laughs> hmm. I'm not drunk, it's only noon. <clears throat> First thing on my list, Jo Malone, Red Roses Bath Oil. I don't really like the cologne of this, but I do really like it as a body product or a bath product. Let's give it a smell. You can't smell it, but I can. Oh, that's so nice and rosy. I just love Jo Malone stuff. It's so posh and nice to receive, and, and that just looks great on the side of the bath, and it's all glass, and you can't drop it in there because it will smash into a million pieces. Alternative would be Wren's Moroccan Rose Otto Bath Oil. I have loved this stuff for years and years and years. And a long time ago when I was a struggling model and traveling all over the place and never had any money, I remember I just used to stare at this and go to shops and smell it and just wish that I could buy some. Uh, and then probably did because I wasn't very good at being good with my money. Oh, that's so amazing. Just lovely. Slightly more natural smelling than the Jo Malone one, I would say that. I don't know whether anyone else does this when they shop at Waitrose, <clears throat> or in fact any supermarket. I don't shop at Waitrose often because it is so hideously expensive. However, do you ever take the trolley round and then just pop things in as like a treat to self for doing the grocery shopping? Because I do. Anyway, this would be one of the things that I would pick up, one of the things that I would pick up at Waitrose if I was shopping in Waitrose. It's really, really nice. Love Balance Me. They have really nice ingredients in there. And um, their body washes make you feel clean, but they don't dry your skin out. So, that one. A couple of fragrances for you. I'm whizzing through these, aren't I? Uh, first one is the Majestic Rose from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, you know that I really love the Jo Malone um, Velvet Rose and Oud. This is quite similar, but more oody, which is like a, a woody, masculine kind of note. Um, so very unusual for a rose scent, and I like it a lot. In fact, I'm going to put some on, even though it makes the dog sneeze. I know you're not supposed to put on perfume like that, but I just did. A slightly more affordable option, mainly because it's so teeny, is this um, Rose Imaginaire from Roger et Galet. I haven't said that right, but I'm practicing my French because I'm off to Paris tomorrow with my fam and I am going to be vlogging and doing pictures and all that kind of stuff, so make sure you check out my website for that. Um, this is just like a purer, fresher, more summery rose. It's a kind of crowd pleaser really. Nothing too unusual about it at all, but very, very nice if you like rose. Moving on to a, whoa, windy. Moving on to a couple of makeup things. This is the Too Faced Sweetheart Beads. Look at these. One shade perfects all, it says on the back. These remind me a lot of, um, I don't know whether you've ever had them, 
those chocolates and they're like truffles and they're made by, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they come in a box just like this and they're so, so gorgeous. I'll remember the name afterwards because I buy them all the time. They're so, so luxe and they're brilliant as girly presents. God, what are they called? I'll remember and I'll put them below. Um, anyway, two faced face balls and look, they're like little heart shapes. I wish I had a brush so I could show you what they look like on. I tend to not like these beads because you put the brush in and they fly all over the place. However, because these are heart shapes, they mingle together a little bit more, which makes them um, a little bit easier to use. Anyway, nice pearlescent -y kind of sheen. I just love them for the box alone, really. And less fattening than chocolates. So that's all good. If you're more of a vampy girl than a girly girl, check out this set from Illamasqua. Perfect for Valentine's this. I'm the one, this is called. And in it, you get the perfect red nail polish, the perfect red lipstick. This is called Man Eater. Lip gloss to go over the top, just to add a little bit of a sheen. And a lip liner, nice bright red lip liner. So everything you need to have that perfect kind of matching vampy red nails and mouth. Really like that one a lot. Illamasqua do brilliant makeup, very pigmented. Everything just works and does what it's supposed to do. So that one's good. Uh, what else do I have for you? I think that might be it. Oh no, candles and lingerie. Okay, candles first of all. Now this pink one that's lit behind me is from Illaspa and it's like a really heady spa type candle. And I can tell you that the smell is incredible. En croyable coming off that candle. Just really exotic and, I don't know, just very kind of sensual. So really lovely. Now, the one, I'm gonna have to reach for it, aren't I? Hold on. This is the Oskia Rose de May and it's a massage candle. So you can see the flame burning away there. And as this wax melts, it's actually oils, and you can pour them out using this, this spout a bit and rub them over your body or use them to massage somebody else. It's really amazing. I'm just gonna let that melt a little bit so I can show you what that does. And this one is a new discovery. This one, I haven't lit yet, is by Janjira. I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's a therapy massage candle. Same concept, slightly different smell. This one's a very kind of fresh, um, almost citrusy smell, citrusy floral, and this works in the same way. Actually, let's light this one too. Let's do a little experiment and see what the textures are like. So that's that one going. And then behind me, on the other side of my head, here, I have the Neom candle. Neom do amazing candles. This one is called Love. Tuberose, same as what's in the Illaspa. Neom do beautiful candles, and that one is smelling gorgeous behind my head there. Fire alarms are probably going to go off in a minute, aren't they? Let's see if we can pour any um, melted stuff from these candles. I'm kind of scared about doing this, you know, because I'm not very good with pain and it's going to be really hot, isn't it? Let's pour it on the back of my hand. Ooh, that feels nice. What a lovely idea. Oh, that's gorgeous. That just smells and feels like the most amazing body oil ever. And do you know what irritates me about body oils in general is that you kind of have to warm them in your hands so, so that they spread properly, otherwise they're just a bit of a mission. And that is already warmed. I'm not using that on anyone else. Keeping that one all for me. Let's try this Janjira one. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Sorry Janjira if it's not. We don't have any melt on this one yet. I have to wait a little bit longer. Oh, while that's happening, I can show you this lingerie. Now, there are obviously loads of lingerie options. Agent Provocateur, Myla, La Perla, Princess Tam Tam. All of them do beautiful, beautiful stuff. However, pricey. Check out what I found at Boo Avenue. I'm really into Boo Avenue because they do, I'm a 32 double D, believe it or not. And they do really nice bras that are supportive, but don't look like granny bras because it's not even that big. 
first two double D. I mean, I've got a really tiny waist thing, um, rib cage. Uh, so, look at what I found. How gorgeous is this? All of this ruching goes across, so it almost makes it look like one of those really gorgeous, you know those gorgeous bras for people that have got slightly smaller boobs and you always think, oh, that's so pretty, I wish they made it for a bigger size, but they never do because they don't see it as supportive enough. That's what this looks like, but it is supportive. Let's see if we've got any melt off this yet. Come on. Ooh. It's actually really quite scary pouring boiling hot wax onto yourself. And it is hot, but surprisingly doesn't really hurt. Oh, that one too is gorgeous. Really unusual and fresh smelling. Like a kind of tropical, tropical spa smell or something. Oh, well, hard to choose between those really. But I would recommend uh, a massage candle any day of the week. That's it for now. Um, this weekend, my first video goes up with all things hair and it is a guide, a beginner's guide to hairstyling. No, a beginner's hairstyling product kit. I can't remember what I've called it. Anyway, that's up on Friday or Saturday. I'll be in Paris, so uh, if I'm not that quick to answer your comments and questions, then bear with me. I will do it on Sunday. And make sure you like and subscribe and all that kind of thing, and I shall see you next time.